Hi, welcome back to Channel from Vivid Days. I'm gonna have to work very quick because I've got some leftover resin from a couple of pieces I've been working for. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough for one or two molds, but we're just gonna get on with this. This is some clear resin I'm gonna add in. As usual, this is gonna have the Colour Cottage Pigment Super Sparkly White. I like to do that just for some effects. I should have really just gone with one, really. Yeah. I think there's just going to be enough for one mould, so I'll have to leave that one. And this one might not be perfect, but it'll give me ideas for future projects. So the colour I had in here, which I'm going to add one more drop of, is from the Colour Me Happy Pigment, which is the Ocean Blue. I'm going to add two drops. Only very little resin in there, so two is quite bold, but I really do enjoy this colour. Like I say, you can see it's so... going off. Just added a bit of heat to it to give me a little bit more play time. Sad that I'm not going to get to make my matching set but this was just leftover resin and at least we're not going to waste any. A little bit of the turquoise, which is the Peebo. And add a bit more to that. So sticky because it's so sticky, I'm going to have to... Uh, Go around cleaning everything up soon to get rid of all the resin that's everywhere. I did start working very tidily today. But the third project in, not so much. Need to add some more white. All right, I'm going to add some heat just so I can get a bit more fluid and then just mix my stick with it. Uh, and see if it delivers any surprises. And I'm just going to stir it around. Help get rid of any bubbles. I'll bring them to the top. Now it's all light blue here. I have a feeling it's all going to be dark blue underneath. Might go with the heat again. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. <laughs> Let's see if the white sinks or if that stays at the bottom. I hope you've been able to watch some of that video. Never even checked. Oh well. It is what it is. Even if you can't see it, I'll show you the end result. All right, time to get ready for work. This is the one with my leftover leftovers left over <laughs> and unfortunately you never got to see me applying this in camera you get to hear me speaking but not uh and i don't know if this is going to turn anything magical the back actually looks really nice the clouding that you've got happening and the different colors is nice but i put the dark in then the blue then the white and it was just really leftovers but i'm curious has it given us a gift so let's have a little look unfortunately there was only enough to do one but one's better than none and one's better than wasting 
Oh, wow, that has given us a gift. Love, love, love. Now, I'm surprised I've got a few air bubbles. One, because this had been waiting so long for curing, but it just goes to show the importance of taking your time. But it's okay. I, you know, it's still a nice piece of art. But I don't know if you're going to see what I see. So look at that glitter. Look at that depth in that swirl. So the dark, the blue and the white all have a little showing and it all adds for this natural, nice effect. And you can see my Sharon swirl in there. Um, so it's squishy. I will just need to tidy off these edges. So I'll just sand that down. I'm going to see if I need to put a... No, I don't think I need to do it in another coat. There are some air bubbles there, but you can still sell it like that. You just show people what it is in Imperfections. But that will stand on a tiny little easel. Uh, but I'll come back and show you once I've tidied off the edges. But very, very happy with that. And I thought that was going to deliver nothing. And it goes to show how some of the paint sinks. Because it was all the black, or should I say all the dark green that was put in. And the rest over the top of it, which has sank down. And given us this beautiful gift. Thank you, Resin Gods. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I am doming, so I've mixed up just 100ml of resin. I may have some left over, so I'll use it elsewhere. But to save on efficiency, <laughs> I am filming three different videos doming in one video. So you will see this repeated on three different videos. That's okay. If you've seen it, you can skip it. People might not have seen the other videos, so you'll find this interesting. I have sanded down gently around these edges so they're all smoothed. And then I've wiped it down with alcohol to make sure that there is no dust residue and the same with this one and with this one it didn't need it but what I am thinking of is keeping this as a tiny little piece so I'm going to dome and fill in this and dome at the top which should deal with those air bubbles because there's quite a few in there and it's a lovely piece so I want to keep it and I don't see this as a coaster I see this as a standalone piece of art it's like a rose a blue rose for your fella or something that loves blue anyway I'm Sharon I'm digressing I have already pre-mixed up my resin. I have added a tiny little bit of the super sparkling white from the Colour Cottage, just so it gives that nice little shimmer. You may not want to do that. I'm just going through my glitter phase, so my art, my way. <laughs> uh, what I find is a little goes a long way. So start with a dollop in the middle, let it evenly spread. You want it to just hug and create that almost air pocket dome effect. Uh, but don't overdo it or it'll keep spilling and then you're going to have horrible edges and ruin your piece of art anyway i'm going to get on with this this one's going to take a little bit more because it's got to fill in there the middle and then create its dome Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Day. It's review time, as you can probably tell. I'm doing mass reviewing and that's okay. Work smart, not hard. Anyway, that's another hot tip right there. <laughs> we are going to review this piece, which I love. 
It was originally going to start out as a coaster, but I didn't have enough moulds to do two. And I wasn't even sure if this was going to give me a lovely gift. But when I took it out, I absolutely love one single air bubble there. But I did that coasters and then I came back and domed them. And I love the depth in this piece, the colours and as they blend together. Um, and the resin gods were definitely kind to me and it's got a little bit of sparkle so this could be a mini piece of art that you can stand on these mini easels which I'm going to show you when we come up and review in close up very soon <laughs> or you could look at um, placing it on a desk or maybe put a little magnet on the back so that people can stick it and display it. Or you can use it for a coaster originally without a, with dominant or without dominant. But just make sure your top coat has the heat resistant resin. But people, resin will always, over time, notice if you have stood something hot on there. So think about marketing from your point of view. Do you want to demonstrate them as piece of art or do you want them as functional? You decide, think about your resin, but test, test, test at home first. Temperatures, everything makes a difference. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Let's bring you in for a close-up because this one was a real gift to me and I love this. You may not be able to see it, but there's a lot of depth in there and those colours work beautiful together. So the colours I've been working with, Colour Me Happy. I'll put the links down there and also uh, the Colour Cottage. Well, that's super sparkle one. Anyway, let's take you in for that close-up. Here we go for our close-up. With the colour on here, you are not picking up the bright green, I'm afraid. It is just the blue um, that's coming through now. You have to believe me that there is a deep ocean green in there and a little bit of blue and the deep green and a little bit of white. Anyway, let's see if I take you in for that flyover, what detail you're going to see with that swirl. The glitter seems to just be the thing that focuses for you. But if I hold this torch over here again, you can see how transparent that is. Some light areas, dark areas. That black at the back, the cloudy effect is beautiful. But it's stunning. The edges as well, clear. We dome that. And so much sparkle. Now you may not want to put sparkles in your pieces and that's okay stick with the art that you enjoy okay that focus your way but if you are inspired and you have you can see just those couple of air bubbles uh, anyway if you are inspired by any of my art and use any of the processes remember to tag me in i'd love to pop over and see and celebrate how you have interpreted this yourself and what results you've got but other than that i'll see you on the next video and remember the resin, resin gods can sometimes deliver you little bits of magic like this <laughs>